hey John is the uh, explanation of what I'm talking about so on the video tutorial uh, he used live text here so when you drag a live text here you're going to have a pop-up like this uh, then you can put the text here like just the one we did before and actually you can add a background here so the design will be in here with the text so since we're using a video file I tried using this one video play file which when you drag it here it will only have this option which is add file or browse for the content no other things no background no designs or whatsoever so on on the uh, video that I watched uh, the thing that will appear on the iPad is this the background of the menu and the text and the text that he did so it's in there so on the iPad it will appear there the parameters of the text here and the background and the buttons on the side on the side on the different kinds of menu so basically the video tutorial has the when he showed the the iPad screen he had the display in here and the buttons on the side so since we were using video I'm assuming we will have a video large video with the buttons in here so on his example the buttons uh, he didn't he didn't uh, he did not design the buttons it's automatically uh, rendered by the iPad app so if that's what you're talking about maybe we can check the settings maybe we can change the color or anything so basically the buttons in there will be I think will still be iPad like since it's an app for iPad so the appearance would be still good or I don't know yeah that's basically the explanation